beautiful the sunrise that's because it was so clear but these morning temperatures you guys were the coldest of the winter so far that does include our winter months in 2017 and then through this winter so this morning at the Portland Airport we actually got to 24 degrees it was right around 8 a.m. the last coldest temperatures was on February 13th at 26 Vancouver even dropped to 22 degrees this morning same time and the last day we did see these cooler temperatures again was February 13th we got to 23 degrees so it was definitely cold but you needed your sunglasses because it was bright now currently in Portland it's right around 30 34 degrees, so not far above freezing, and that is out currently at the airport. What I'm watching here is there's still snow on some of those side areas and on the trees, meaning it's still very chilly out there, even with that little bit of sunshine. We do have a few high clouds in the Portland area still at freezing. This is what we're going to have to watch for today moving forward because if we don't see a lot of melting for today, which it doesn't look like we'll see a lot of melting. We will see refreezing tonight. So currently 34 degrees in Portland, 33 in Hillsboro, below freezing in Newburgh, 34 in Tualatin, below freezing West Lynn, 30 in Happy Valley, mid 30s for Gresham as well as Camas, and in Battleground, 33 degrees for Troutdale. Out towards Hood River, not a lot of melting going on there. It's 28 degrees, 25 in Parkdale, Sandy, 32 as well as in Corbett and Washougal, 30 in the Dalles, Eastern and Central Oregon. Temperatures are in the upper 20s. John Day, Pendleton 24 and 23 degrees for Madras and Bend. Down through Salem, we're seeing warmer conditions. Currently 36 degrees, 36 degrees in McMinnville and a balmy 42 degrees down towards Lincoln City. All right, let's talk about our Doppler radar. So this morning we saw all the rest of that snow move out of our area. We saw some sunshine. We're starting to see those high clouds pushing in now ahead of our next system. We're currently tracking it coming in from Canada. We've got cold air moving in and we do have another round of possible snow into the metro area again. Here is a look at the rain and snow forecast. So through this afternoon, we definitely see more high clouds. We might see a few more snowflakes up into the Cascades, but by later tonight, here comes the moisture moving in along the coast. We could even see a few flakes mixed down to the lower elevations at the beaches. The majority of the snow will fall in the coastal range for tonight, but we could still see some snow into the metro area through early tomorrow morning. We do clear out by Thursday later in the day, but how much snow could we see? Well, as of right now, it looks like the forecast out along the coast below 500 feet, mixed rain and snow showers. The coast range one to three inches. Now the valley, we can see between a trace and up to two inches, possibly even up to three inches for some spots. The timing is going to be later tonight, so not for the evening commute. It's going to be as you're sleeping overnight, waking up to a little bit more snow. All right, your forecast for today, temperatures in the 40s, 41 degrees for Salem, upper 30s in Vancouver. Hopefully we see some significant warming because as of right now, it is still very cold. Overnight and into tomorrow, temperatures will drop again below freezing. Some sun breaks for Thursday and then another round of potential mix of rain and snow, especially up into the foothills. I think that's where we'll start to see more of the snow accumulation. And then it does look like valley rain for the weekend. So we're not out of the clear just yet, even though it's beautiful and the sun was up. We're still looking at some icy conditions. Mm. We're going to have to track it, so make sure to come back here at 4 o'clock for the latest details. So it yeah. could still be a dicey morning commute tomorrow. Exactly. I don't think we're in the clear just yet. Much warmer conditions tomorrow afternoon. Then mm. we'll start to see thawing. But uh, we'll be getting up early, like earlier than normal even. Yeah, tomorrow we're going to need a lot of coffee. Make sure we get it here tomorrow. Yeah. Okay, thanks, Claire.